بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على حبيبنا محمد الصادق الوعد الأمين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته And welcome to the Ramadan Checklist Previously we spoke about the month of Ramadan and how some people talk about a food in that month of Ramadan. Not the food you offered for the needy people or for your neighbor or for the peoples around you to break their fast. The food we are, the people they cook every day and they focus much about the food. And when they focus too much about the food and they come to forget what the purpose of the fasting in the first place. The purpose of the fasting, not only to compensate the time you've been fasting during the day, fasted for 10 hours, 12 hours, whatever hours, no food or drink. Then when it's time come to eat, you want to compensate all this in one meal hurting yourself and your body. That's not the purpose of the fasting. So we need to make sure as a Muslims, we fast to gain something in terms of reward and satisfaction from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to remember the hadith when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam described for us like our stomach, belly, the, the tummy, it's like divided to three different places. Three different, like make room. First, for ta'amik, for the food. First, third, for the food. Second, for the drink. And third, leave space. Don't fill it up all together. Leave space to breathe. فَثُرُثُ لِطَعَامِهِ وَثُرُثُ لِشَرَابِهِ وَثُرُثُ لِنَفَسِهِ So don't fill it up, pack it too much, because that's not right and that you don't want to happen and what a wonderful from this perspective brothers and sister I really li I like from you because our show only few minutes as I said it's not like long show it's a very few minute I'd like you to go and do some research about that hadith third and third and third and look what's the medical perspective talking about this you will be amazed our beloved Muhammad Sallallahu when he talked about this. As well as Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah. He said the food, he put it on three different stages. The first one, he said, the necessity or the need for the food. That's the first one. And the second one, the fulfillment for the food. You might need the food so much, so badly, the first one. Second, fulfillment, fulfillment. And the third one, which is the extra one, the extra, most of the time, we don't need the extra. But people do eat extra and do work on the extra. So Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, did it divide it for us by saying, like, these, uh, uh, the, food, the, the, the steps or the stages for the food. And from this member, from this station, I would like really to advise myself and my family, first of all, on Ramadan, the focus should not be on the food. May Allah reward you, mothers and wives and sisters and daughters. May Allah reward you, because you are really good in doing good job for the Muslim, the fasting family. But I don't want you really to focus a lot about the food, especially when we go for invitation. People invite us to break fast in Ramadan. You see. Tens of different kind of food on the tables during on the table month of Ramadan. Why all this? And subhanAllah, there's a lot of people in need. So save some. You could do this if you want after Ramadan. But Ramadan, let's focus on the fasting and break the our fast. Then after that, that, we are ready to start to do the salah and the ibadah. Because when you eat a lot, 
you sleep a lot and you function less and maybe you talk more. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the straight path. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. O oh, one who fasts, stand up in prayer at night and Allah will forgive. Allah will forgive.